In the ever-evolving landscape of retail, the only constant is change. But sometimes the change means saying goodbye to some of the stores we've grown up with and grown to love. Let's reveal the 10 large retailers that are slated to shut down stores before the clock strikes midnight in 2024. Number 10. Rite Aid The chain of medicine stores has lagged behind Walgreens and Sevius in the race for consumers in this market. As a result, Rite Aid is having trouble, especially when you consider that it started the year with a debt of almost $3 billion and is expected to lose more than $200 million annually. The retailer announced earlier this year that it intended to use the money it saved by eliminating roughly 145 shops and by increasing the volume of prescriptions it fills to improve its cash flow and pay off debt. According to the Wall Street Journal, over half of the chain's debt had variable interest rates, which means that borrowing becomes more expensive each time the Federal Reserve Board raises interest rates. Moreover, Rite Aid has been accused by the federal government of displaying of disobeying red flags while writing prescriptions for illegal narcotics. In addition, 1,600 state and local governments, hospitals and private citizens have filed complaints against the corporation over opioids. Number 9. Goals Goals experienced a 0.6% decline in sales last year during major shopping occasions like Black Friday. Does this mean a reason for closure? Of course not. There should be other reasons too. Right, the department stores poor sales can be attributed to inflation since many consumers are cutting back on extra spending. Seems like people have gained some financial knowledge during the pandemic. Coles has been attempting to regain consumer trust by introducing new inclusive fashion concepts such as showcasing female-owned enterprises, accommodating consumers with disabilities and offering gender-neutral apparel lines. Sadly, the store was not able to get the cash flow. It was used to form any of these changes. Additionally, there were layoffs and a change in the CEO. There are no indications that the store's sales are improving. Moreover, the fact that the bidding war for calls appears to have been shelved is another indication that trouble for the company may be approaching. Number 8. Party City just analyze the parties you have attended over the previous months. Most of them might have been organized by Party City. The retailer's vitality is solely dependent on the parties. However, the virus delayed major events and celebrations for over a year, leaving Party City with stocked shelves but no attendees. In January 2023, Party City filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy as a result of this and inflation. However, there are plans for the chain to reorganize, so there is some hope. Party City's third quarter 2023 sales decreased 3.2% from the previous year but increased 11.2% from the previous quarter. It's still early in the party. Therefore, stock gurus advise holding on to Party City stock before filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on January 18. Party City had already closed and evacuated 28 stores across 13 states. According to Retail Dive, Party City is now requesting that the court release it from those leases. Number 7. Best Buy If you're looking to buy a new gadget or equipment, Best Buy is probably one of the best stores that springs to mind. Best Buy CEO and Director Corey Sui Barry announced during a March 1 earnings call that the company plans to close 17 stores. However, there is some hope. Barry mentioned in the earnings call that in addition to opening 10 outlet shops, Best Buy is also planning to rebuild two of its medium core format stores and open eight experiential store remodels. However, he added that we anticipate the development of our store portfolio and operational framework would eventually result in increased sales and improved efficiencies. The world is changing with customers in change and things becoming more digital and operating physical businesses will likely continue to cost money due to personnel and rent. What do you think of strategy implemented by the retailer? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 6. Family Video This tenacious video rental firm managed to outblast Blockbuster before collapsing. It declared in January 2023 that it would shut down every store it still had. It was growing harder and harder to justify getting in the car and driving back to pick up a couple of Blu-rays as the quality and convenience of streaming services increased. Family Video had already closed nearly half of its 510 sites by 2020. The company said in a press release, while we have fought digital competition from Netflix and others for years, nothing has been a detrimental to our business as COVID-19. The closure of the retailer is giving us a strong lesson that one should know one's competitor well before entering the market. The Children's Place 
With so many children learning remotely, parents don't see the need to purchase the newest trendy clothes despite the children's place having been outfitting children for more than 50 years. The company declared in June 2020 that it would reduce its brick and mortar mall based portfolio in North America following the release of first quarter financial data that showed net sales had decreased by over 40% from the same period in 2019. In an effort to increase profitability and concentrate more on its e-commerce business, it started a fleet optimization program. Moreover, the COVID-19 epidemic forced the temporary closure of many of the company's outlets as lockdowns and, and social distancing tactics took place. Another reason is that 55% of the company's net sales in the fiscal year 2022 came from an increase in internet demand. So why should a brand hold on a sinking ship when they are getting treasure from the land? Number 4. Fry's Electronics Fry's Electronics ultimately pulled the plug, winding down operations and closing its online site entirely after nearly 36 years in business. Founded in Silicon Valley in 1985, the big box store saw toys, cosmetics, home appliances, hardware, software and electronics. The decision to close all 31 of its locations across nine states was prompted by changes in the retail market and the problems created by the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the store's farewell statement, seems like we have a lot of retailers closing down due to pandemic. What lesson could we learn from this? Every business should be prepared for a downfall like one we experienced during the pandemic. In late February 2021, the firm started the process, but it was not clear when the store closure would be finished. Number 3. Designer Brands Stores It's not the best place for gaudy shoes. Nobody is observing your feet during your Zoom meetings, even if you choose to dress up. Designer Brands is the company behind companies including Kimutu Group and designer shoe Verouse says it plans to close 65 years stores that would make sense to close upon their natural lease expirations over the next four years. About 24 of these stores, according to the business, would make strong candidates in 2021, but it wasn't clear whose brands were being considered. Founded in 1991, DSW Designer Shoe Warehouse was the company's flagship retail brand, with around 550 locations across the United States and Canada. According to press release from the company, comparable store sales for 2020 dropped by 34.3% as opposed to the 0.8% growth from the year before. Number 2. GameStop It seems unlikely that the holders of investment bank pranksters who sent GameStop stock to the moon early last year actually made any purchases there. Over the past two years, the largest gaming retailer in the world has closed hundreds of outlets and despite recent mishaps, its goals remain unchanged. By April 2021, GameStop planned to close a thousand sites in total. Since then, the firm hasn't released any significant statements, although watchers have noted an increase in clearance sales nationwide, suggesting that the cooling may not be ever. Since consumers are spending less time in public places, the gaming industry has been growing. But GameStop isn't benefiting from all the success because of ease of digital downloads. Number 1. Burger King Which is your favorite store to have a snack to grab during your shopping? For most of us, it might be the Burger King. Is Burger King's hegemony about to end? Well, there aren't as many subjects now. Throughout the year, the well-known fast food business is expected to close about 400 of its sites in the United States. Burger King had more than 7,000 outlets across the nation prior to the closure of 124 of them this year, according to restaurant brand International Q1 report from 2023. Although there will be closure, reported US, the sales increased by 8.7 in Q1. And there you have it, the revealing list of 10 large retailers that are winding down that presence before 2024. The landscapes of shopping is changing before your eyes. The landscape of shopping is changing before our eyes. But remember, as some doors close, others open and we will be right here to report on the next wave of retail evolution as it unfolds. Before you click away, take a moment. If you've ever snagged a bargain at one of these stores, hit the like button. Let your reaction join the chorus of watches in this ongoing retail saga. Also, please make sure to hit the notification bell and you will be in the loop when we drop our next big review. What's happening behind the scenes as these retailers make their exit? Until next time, keep your cards full and your spirits high. And your